Good morning, world. How to not get scammed when you're traveling or in real life. <laughs> um, okay, here it goes. It's, I think it's one of the biggest things that people ask me about, um, about traveling solo and people taking advantage of you. Yes, it can happen. I've been scammed. And um, one of the things to really be careful with, especially when you're on your own, because um, you don't have another person to bounce it off of, is to trust your gut. So if somebody comes up to you and starts being over familiar and saying, where are you from? Walk the other way. Don't even make eye contact. Because really, where are you from? Like, no. I don't want to have a conversation with you. I'm going to the grocery store to buy my food. And it's not how you treat locals. If they're treating you differently than how they would treat locals, they wouldn't ask um, inappropriate questions like, where are you from, to local people. So take that as a tip. Um, and this happens mostly, this has happened to me probably every day in Asia, <laughs> in any country. And I've been to Laos, Indonesia, India, Nepal, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar, there's probably some others I didn't remember, um, and get asked that every day. So don't get sucked in by charm, persuasion, somebody being overly familiar. That's a really big one. So trust what you're feeling when somebody approaches you. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't have to. My mistake on one of my first trips was thinking I had to be some kind of ambassador from the United States. No, I don't have to be. So I learned that pretty quick in South America on a solo six-month overland trip through six countries. There was a few two countries too many. Um, I would only do a couple in six months now. So, because I like to go slow, and I was uh, spending about a month in each country. Um, okay, so the other thing to be aware of is to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Where's your luggage? Where's your money? Where's your passport? Don't think that you know exactly where it is. If you haven't looked at it in the past hour, especially in transit, you're most vulnerable when you are in transit. So, I'm going to go outside. Um, be very careful when you're in transit because it's an easy time to get distracted. So, you want to be on it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I stopped um, uh, in Bali. Uh, I stopped drinking <laughs> because I didn't want to have my guard go down. Um, okay. So those are two big things I can leave you with today to make a very short video. Don't be sucked in by charm. Hey, you can use that in your real life, um, but especially traveling and being aware of where your most expensive items are. Don't carry a lot of cash on the street. Um, but if you're kind of, see, a lot of times what happens is when you're being scammed, you're kind of being slowly seduced into some scam that, um, doesn't really feel right in the beginning like oh there's no train tickets in India I think everybody's heard that one from some so-called travel expert at your hotel who's very handsome and smooth talking handsome and smooth talking walk away from they probably want to marry you and get a new passport that is the truth okay so <laughs> many times or just your money um, so just think of it like, um, not to be scared, but, you know, people want to separate you from your cash. And you think that that's not so true. But really, when you consider advertising in the USA and Europe, too, that's what the whole goal is, to separate you from your cash. So be safe out there. Be aware. Um, trust your gut. And you won't get scammed.